Okay, so uh, some of you uh, have already gotten drawings done in AutoCAD. This video is going to show you how to import those drawings so that you can uh, use them to create 3D solid models here in Onshape. So um, I'm going to go over to the Create tab and click the drop down arrow. Uh, instead of going to create a new document, at this point we will say import files. So I'm going to import the files. Now, you will need to navigate through your menu to where you've got the files that you want. So here I have the uh, support base. So, uh, and again, this is going to be a DWG file. So we'll click on this and hit open. That loads it into our uh, directory here for what we need. I'm going to close this out over here because I don't really need that at this point. Now that I've got that uh, DWG file, I can go ahead and create a document. We'll name this one Support Base. Hyphen first and last so that you uh, have that. Hit Create. Now, uh, kind of the same thing goes on here. So we'll go ahead and hit a sketch on the front viewing plane. So go ahead and click the view cube to get this to where we're looking at it to view normal. And now I need to actually import that DWG file into this sketch. So if you look right up here, I can insert uh, what we call DXF files or DWG files, either one. So, so I will click on this. It does not show up here. Um, when we first pop up uh, with the uh, insertion pop-up window. So we have to click on other documents. And in this case, since you did it, it's owned by you. So click owned by me. Uh, there we see parks support base file. So I'm going to click on that. Uh, it's in here. I will click on this again. And lo and behold, that file comes in to uh, my directory. Now, there's a couple of things that I'm going to fix here. So uh, you have to watch depending on what layer properties you have or had turned on when you uh, save the video. Sometimes those layer properties might pop up in here. So I'm going to click on this and we're going to delete that out. I don't need that center line uh, here for me to do this. Let's click the green check mark to get out of the sketch. I'm going to come over here to my isometric. Now, in this case, I'm now ready to extrude this. So we are going to extrude uh, this part, and I want this to go back into the screen, and I'll tell you why in a minute. So I want to extrude that part. Now notice I'm putting my cursor, uh, I'm putting that arrow somewhere in the middle to select the parts that I want. All right, so, so I've got everything there that would be kind of the base of this particular uh, part. So and uh, let's go ahead back to the isometric view. Uh, this said one inch. We're going to do this one. Uh, we're going to make this one 1.25, one and a quarter inches here. All right, extrude that back. Click on the green check mark. Now, remember what I said in an earlier video, the sketch gets consumed by the extrusion. So if you want to continue to use that sketch, uh, we need to turn the light bulb on. And just as a minute, um, you know, in order to do this extrusion, I certainly didn't need uh, the circle here in this part here, but it's good to have it in there in your sketch anyway, because it helps you to kind of keep things uh, in your head as far as what you need to move where. So my next uh, object then is to extrude this boss, and we're going to extrude that going the other way. So let's come back in, uh, left click on the extrusion tool again. Uh, all I'm extruding this time is this part here, and we're going to extrude this out, uh, we'll say two inches for right now. All right, and click the check mark. Now, we also have this part right here. Uh, we need to extrude that out as well. So let's extrude this. And I'm going to show you something that's going to happen with this. We're only going to extrude this one the inch. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, 
click check actually you know what we'll go ahead and make this one uh, an inch and a half here as well so extend that out a little bit further click the check now let's go back in to see uh, notice this gives us a full line that matches that radius sometimes if you draw a rectangle uh, you wouldn't have uh, completely connected uh, sections of your drawing so I just wanted to kind of point that out all right and uh, at this point, I can go ahead. I'm going to turn off the top, front, and right viewing planes there just to help uh, uh, me avoid some of the confusion that might be going on. I'll go ahead and hide the sketch again. Uh, so this is kind of what it looks like, except uh, for one thing on here. We want a chamfered edge here on this extrusion. So, so let's go... Um, we can do this a couple of different ways. So let's go ahead and do a chamfer. Now, it is telling us to uh, offset this chamfer an equal distance. So if I kind of, at this point, to kind of get this in here, if I just kind of click this edge, notice how uh, it gives us a quarter inch by quarter inch chamfer. But I can also sit here and say two distances. So, and in this case, I'm going to say uh, one distance here will be one, so uh, by 0.2 and the other. Now, notice that came in one, and we'll say this will be 1.5 distance two. So, notice now how we kind of get that based on our actual dimensions. Let's go ahead and uh, click the check mark, and now I've got like the boss kind of coming through with this. If I click on this box so you can kind of play around here a little bit with the way you want it to look as you come through so this would be our isometric view if I want to have this kind of sitting uh, kind of like this I can kind of use uh, different parts and features so notice how we turn this around kind of come back to this uh, just play around with it to kind of get it the way you want it uh, to be sitting and seated in there uh, I imagine that this would kind of go through like this all right now we talked a little bit too so those holes are there so but let's say we're using a counterboard screw to kind of put this in there so the last thing we're also going to do here is I can also kind of come back and say all right well uh, I do have a hole pattern here that I could be using uh, we'll talk more about that later but for right now I'm just going to kind of create another sketch and I'm going to create that sketch on this surface so I'm going to uh, left click on that surface let's go ahead and bring this up back to your front view all right now I can come in with my uh, center point circle and uh, if I click on the circle highlight it uh, notice it's putting it right there so I don't really have some geometry uh, that's going to give that to me so uh, I can also say well uh, in this case let's use a three-point circle so I'm going to click click and click and uh, kind of get that there as well to put that in I'll do the same thing over here click 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 I'm just creating some geometry on that circle now at this point I can now that I've got that center point go back to my center point and bring this out and let's say uh, in this case we just want this to be a uh, one inch so and I'm gonna do the same thing here we're gonna say one inch so click on my check mark let's kind of move this up now uh, I'm going to extrude this and we'll say I want to extrude that and I want to extrude that it's popping up out of there so let's flip the direction and in this case we're not going to be adding material we're going to be removing material so I'm going to click on the remove come down here we're going to uh, basically take this a half an inch deep and click the green check mark now I've got a counterboard hole uh, in there to uh, accept the socket head cap screw now we'll talk uh, here later about whether that would be an appropriate hole size uh, whether our tolerances and that hole size would actually fit and whether we could get a counterboard screw that would be uh, appropriate to go into that. But that gets me 
with this particular drawing finished. So let's go to the, back to the isometric view. Uh, you've got it saved as support base. Uh, come right up here to your share, uh, share this document, uh, and you can uh, put in my email and you'll be able to share that document with me.